hi guys what's up welcome back to my channel it's edwin david 247 here again and you're welcome so if you're a new subscriber thanks for coming thanks for watching my videos and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to watch my videos so let's get straight into the video In this particular video, I'm going to be talking about the things that you need to know about or before coming to the Federal University or Yekiti, Ekiti State. Okay, so this video is particularly for aspirants and freshers who want to know what the Federal University or Yekiti is like before coming or for non-aspirants or non-freshers who just who are curious and they want to know what the Federal University or Yekiti is like. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be talking about is um, a brief story about the school okay so the federal university oye Kiti, is a federal institution in oye Kiti, a Kiti state nigeria it was one of the 11 schools that was created by good luck ebile jonathan in 2011 so the federal university oye Kiti runs a multi-campus system meaning that they have other campuses aside the main campus which is located in oye Kiti. um amongst these other campuses is the ecole campus which where the area the engineering students the agriculture faculty and the environmental sciences. Also, they have a campus in Ayegbaju, which is for part-time students. They have another campus in Oye, which is for postgraduate students, and on and on like that, that I cannot mention. But in total, I think the Federal University of has nine or ten campuses. Three campuses are major campuses, which is the Oye campus, the Ikole campus, and the Ayegbaju campus. The rest campuses are, the rest campuses are like unit campuses that are not really significant, but are also campuses of the Federal University or Yekiti. So, um, I want you people to comment down below if you want me to do like a tour vlog of the Federal University of Yekiti, the campuses, you want a video of how the school is like, I'm going to do that, but I want to see requests in the comments. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the school community. So, you should know this, especially for aspirants and freshers. Before coming to Federal University or Yekiti, especially if you are going to be in the main campus, which is in Oyekiti that Oye is not um, an ultra modern um, uh, Oye is not a developed place yeah let me put it that way Oye is underdeveloped and uncivilized kinda because the place is still developing and it's I don't know how to put it but just know that okay you're coming from Lagos, Ibadan, Port Harcourt, Abuja Forget all your city lifestyle. Forget it because in Oye Kitty, there's nothing like that. You are coming to the village. You are coming to the bush. So, okay. So, I don't mean like it is totally undeveloped like that, like that, like that. But, uh, you get what I'm trying to say. It is not a big city. Yeah, it's not big and it's not that developed. So, but it depends on the places that you are, going to, that you are staying that will determine how... Um, the level of development is going to be for example if you are staying in um, places like SY8 which is on school road places like that are still like yeah still um, bubbly like during the night there are things that you could do and places that you could go to because they have like eateries and restaurants and lounges bars around that side but we are staying in places like um, Oyegbo or education side that's like the other side of the school's main gate Places like that are not really, they are not the, they are still bushes, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So, know that in mind that there's nothing like city lifestyle when you're coming to Ayekiti. So, drop all your Lagos style, all your Lagos lifestyle, drop everything at the park before coming to Federal University or Ayekiti. Disclaimer, this is not to, like, discourage you or to say, or, like, of course, we are here, I've been here for, like, over two years, since 2021, and, of course, not as... Not like I'm really enjoying the life here, but it's it's not that bad. So, yeah. So now, I'm going to be talking about the school rules and the policies. So there are quite, like in every institution, there are rules and there are principles that you must follow. So for students, there are quite a number of rules, laid down rules and principles, but not as much as there are in private universities if you know what i'm talking about okay so um basically there are things that you are not allowed to hear in the school um if you are staying in school hostel 
there are quite like a lot more rules for students staying in school hostels uh, than for students staying in off campus hostel. Because in my own level days, I stayed in a private hostel in the school, Beaver Hostel, and I had like I it's not an experience that I want to have again. Like ah, school hostel is not for me. It's just too restrictive and all of that. If you are if you have an experience, like if you have hostel experience, for example, like you went to a boarding secondary school or you have gone to a school before, you know how, you have an idea about things like that, you can relate. So school hostel, there are certain things that you cannot bring, there are certain things that you cannot do. But off campus, we are staying off campus, like for me, I'm staying in off campus. I'm staying off campus rather. And the only kind the only rules that you need to obey are like there are certain kinds of dresses and clothes that you must wear and there are some kinds of clothes and hairstyles that you cannot wear for example for guys you cannot wear short nika or um you cannot wear short nika or sleeveless like armless into the school they are not going to allow you yeah or for guys too you are not allowed to tint your hair even for girls so if you are a guy or a girl that you tinted your hair or you tint your hair you must wear a scarf or a cap yeah when going to school and um i think that's all for guys also you're not allowed to wear ripped jeans yes so that's that for guys about dressing and for girls anklets are not allowed um what other things are not allowed nose piercing is not allowed. also i forgot for guys earrings are not allowed so if you are a guy and you use air stored earrings whatever you have to remove them when going to school okay so also for um for girls uh shorts like revealing kinds of clothes all those kinds of skimpy clothes are not allowed so i think that's ju yes just the dressing that's and also you cannot fight in the school that's normal yeah so you can fight out outside the school but if you fight inside the school and they catch you bye bye to your admission even if you're a finalist it could shock you. You could explain by uh, no evidence. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be talking about is um, you might be wondering why I'm looking sideways, but I have a list that I'm um, that I'm looking at. Okay, that I'm reading from. Okay, so accommodation, accommodation in federal university it is quite um, an issue, although not really like a serious serious one. But accommodation is something that is. Um, Accommodation is quite difficult to secure because houses here are not um, houses here. Their prices are very very exorbitant. Like the prices are very high, and to stay in school hostel is like a 50-50 thing because school hostel um, the number of school hostels that are available in Federal University Kitty compared to the number of students that want to secure a space in the school hostel is like ten to hundred, ten ratio hundred, yeah, something like that. Like the number of students that want to stay in school still are like ten times the amount of spaces that are available. Though they are building new hostels, but still school hostel is very difficult to get and also people much people don't really like school hostel due to the rules and the principles, all of that. So a lot of people prefer to stay off campus and off campus accommodation is very, very expensive. Like imagine paying one eighty k two hundred k for a house that does not have a running water that doesn't have that does not have an hostel gen and you have to still like fetch water draw water from the well with your own hands on the one eighty that you paid that's what I'm going through right now and it's not explainable like the experience is just horrible it's not something that you can yeah it's not an it's not a pleasant experience yeah so off campus you might have a little difficulty securing off campus hostel. But, yeah, I think you, you are going to have, you might have a little bit of difficulty securing your campus hostel because it is also quite difficult to get one. And even though you get one, it is, never, it is definitely not going to be worth how much you paid for it. So just, you are going to take it away. And, yeah, I think that's that about accommodation. Yes. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the standard and the academics. Hmm. The standard is actually like for me a thing of debate in my own mind because currently on NEC's ranking, their last ranking, a four year ranked 
17th amongst the over 200 universities in Nigeria and that's quite like that's a lot guys if you think like yeah if you look at it it's a lot like four year rank 17 out of over 200 universities in Nigeria that's like very high but comparing that with what I am experiencing here because this is actually like this is my first degree but this is not like the first school I'm attending I've been to FINA before I did like an a privacy course which is usually known as pre-degree. So I know what it feels like to, um, I have an experience about, uh, I don't know how to put it, but you know what I mean. Yes, so in foyer, what they are giving us is contradicting NEC's ranking, exactly. But the standards is actually very okay, like, they teach, they have um, very professional teachers, um, lecturers rather. The standard is good to some extent, like it is, the standard is high. They have experienced and professional lecturers, but the only issue that um, in foyer, the only issue that we have or they have, I don't know how to, whichever one that we are facing in foyer is lack of enough infrastructure and equipment like they don't have enough buildings and they don't have enough equipment to use like for practicals and all of that so those kind of things like those things are um jeopardizing or reducing the standard yes they are it is reducing the standard so i don't know how to put that but i hope you knew what i was trying to pass across okay so the next thing I'm going to talk about is the alumni body. Hmm. Okay, so for those of you who have idea about reputable and prestigious schools like the University of Ibadan, University of Lagos, Unilorin, and on, you would know that in schools like that, they have buildings that were built, like they have buildings that were constructed by their alumni body. They have an alumni association and things like that. But in foyer, I doubt if graduates of this school I've made it to like I've made it to top places and are very very successful and great in life such that they can be doing things like that. I'm not sure. Because in Foyer an alumni body does not exist yet. Yet, yet. An alumni body does not exist yet. Okay. So the social life in Foyer, hmm, this is like a very interesting one. Because the social life in Foyer is actually very um let me say on an average level, yes, because I can't say it's like um a hundred of a hundred it's not a ten of ten but let's say like a five or a six yes that's how it's good like because every weekend there's always a place to be like in four year every weekend there's a party or a dinner night an award night or a back to school party um an after exam party there's always something to do like there's always a place to to be every weekend you know yeah so the social life is quite um yeah it's the social life is encouraging the social life is good yes the next thing i'm going to talk about is the stress level i cannot overemphasize this like when coming to foyer prepare prepare very well like you must be mentally prepared physically prepared academically prepared like in every aspect you must be and financially prepared like that's that's the first thing you must be financially prepared so when you come to foyer just know that you're going to be stressed especially in your 100 level and your 400 level because 400 level you are going to be doing your project your after your project you are going to do your defense and your clearance all of that like it is just a lot so when you come to foyer prepare for stress you are going to be you you will see you your eyes will go through a lot don't worry i don't need to like say much about this because for as parents, when you come, you eventually know by yourself. So, let me just stop at this. So, the lecturers and the lecturers. Hmm. This uh, one thing that you should you should note you should know or note when it comes to federal university is that sixty to seventy percent of your lectures are never going to hold. They are going to like something that is as popular as lecture cancelled. I'm not. I'm not. I've not come across it. I think in four that's like the most common thing. You should go for classes and then you just hear the lecturer was not able to come, the lecturer has been cancelled, or something like that. Like, prepare for that. And when you eventually have those lectures for some of them that you're going to be having, 
especially for hundred level students. It is going to be so crowded. Like imagine a course that um three or four faculties are taking it. Like over three thousand people are taking a course, and you are using a hall of five hundred seats. Five hundred seats for a class of over two thousand or three thousand people. Imagine how choky that would be. Like people literally literally sit on the floor, window, outside, anywhere. Like that's how stressful lectures can be in four years. And you might not even be able to grab anything. But for like for stay lights, you are in 200, 300, 400 level. It's actually not like that because you are going to be doing only your departmental courses. And that's quite like the population is lesser and yes, the lectures are usually very um Lectures are usually okay, and the lecturers are good. And the lecturers too, it depends on the department or the faculty that you are, but most lecturers are very, very harsh. They are strict, and they are not friendly at all. And others, they are quite friendly, a little bit, yeah, though. And that's, yeah, the lecturers are also nice. But um, one thing, they are very professional, and they are... Um, they are qualified lecturers in four year, though they, they are not enough lecturers in four year. Though four year is a little bit under, not a little bit. Four year is understaffed, so there are not enough lecturers. But the few ones that there are, they are very very qualified. Okay, so um, I'm going to be talking about the peace or gangsterism, whatever hooliganism, cultism. Cultism in four year is very very minimal. Yes. I mean, compared to schools where, I don't want to mention names, compared to schools where every week there's always a fight or a clash, in foyer, there's nothing like that. There's barely any clashes. But prepare for drama, though. Like, you are going to experience drama. You are going to experience a little bit of drama. You are going to see some fights or something like that. But it's not that much, so... Four years is peaceful, that's what I'm trying to say. So this should be like um, a plus for you. Yes, four years is good. So in general, I'm just going to be conc concluding this by saying the Federal University of Equity is a nice place to be. If you want to come, yes, come. And for all of the um, bad sides of it, bad sides of it that I mentioned, this should not be like um, it's not a discouragement. Nonetheless, still, if you want to come, you should still come because Federal University of Equity is a good place. And yeah, that's just what I have to say. And if you, if you think that there was anything that you want to know or that you need to know that I did not mention in the video, just put them down below in the comment section and I'm going to take my time to answer all of them. So thanks for watching this video. Um, do well to subscribe to my channel, like this video, give this video a thumbs up because why not? And subscribe to my channel guys, share this video, like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'm going to see you in the next one.